Hello and welcome back to another EAFC 24 player review. Today's player review is the level 8 winter wildcard Lucas Podolski, so let's get into it. As always I start off with the team that I used for this review and as you can see it is a 4-3-2-1 Bundesliga German Saudi League icon hybrid. I actually found this team to be particularly good especially Kim Min Jae at the back Godolski was an absolute monster alongside Kane and Royce so with that being said let's look at my stats after my three rivals games now on the screen you can see that I played three games in rivals scored seven goals and got one assist so let's head into the gameplay Okay, so into the gameplay we go for Podolski. First of all, a long shot from outside the box. My opponent quit after seven in-game minutes. This is game number two. Royce into Podolski, sending Van Dyke back to Southampton. And my opponent did quit when I scored a second with Royce. Podolski into Kane, finishing it off very, very nicely. Then Verts. Into Podolski, beating Blanc for pace, and then smashing it home with his weaker right foot. Kane on the ball, turning the defender into Royce. One more across to Podolski, finishing it off very nicely once again. Podolski smashing it home into the far left hand corner. Balak winning the ball back. Balak into Podolski. Pulls it back and smashes it home. And then Podolski, this is the final clip. So I'll be back with the pros and cons in a second. So now that you've seen the gameplay for Podolski, moving on to the pros. First of all was his pace. Now considering his pace is actually pretty poor, when applying a catalyst it gives him 86 pace and him being controlled lengthy didn't really seem to be an issue with him was he feeling like 99 pace no but he did beat the likes of Van Dyke and Blanc on multiple occasions then 99 shooting I mean there's not really a lot to say his shooting was just absolutely fantastic long range short range shot power being 99 is just spectacular his passing was very good now I did apply a catalyst simply to boost his pace and passing. Then his dribbling was also very good. 89 composure felt like 99 composure. I mean, I don't think he even had a shot off target. That's just how good his shooting is. Then his 90 strength, he felt like an absolute monster on the ball, holding off the likes of Van Dyke and Blanc as I said before then 4 star skill moves and a 5 star weak foot. On to the cons for Podolski, first of all is his 81 agility and 80 balance. Now it wasn't a massive issue because I basically just played it through and shot from anywhere that I could but when you're trying to do close control and turn in defenders he does turn like a truck but that's sort of expected. Then 81 stamina, now I don't think this was much of an issue simply because he has medium low work rates and normally I would say medium low work rates are a con but for this card it actually seemed to work in the 4-3-2-1. I don't really know why but he didn't really lose stamina and I think that's because of his work rates. and. I did also have three rage quits in a row, so that probably did help. So would I recommend taking Lucas Podolski's winter wildcard from level 8? And in my opinion, I would definitely say yes. With your two options being Podolski or an 80 times 10 I think you'd be very silly to miss out on this Podolski card. He's absolutely incredible. 4 star skill moves. 5 star weak foot with 99 shooting, he's strong, he's got good pace, his passing's good, his dribbling's good, I mean I personally think he's quite easy to link as well being German, if he was 
an off nation and off league, then I'd avoid him. But because he is German, very, very easy to link. He's an absolutely incredible striker with the best finishing in the game. I don't think there will be a card with shooting as good as this Podolski card, maybe through evolutions, but otherwise this card is absolutely spectacular and you should try and fit him into your team. I'd like to thank you for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, drop a like, hit that subscribe button if you're new, but for now I'll see you in the next one.